are worried that they could be out on the streets by the end of the year. That is according to a new study indicating the end to the eviction moratorium is mostly to blame. Fox 10 News Shelby Myers joining us here in studio with what this could mean for renters as well as landlords. And Shelby, just when will the federal moratorium end? Well, Sunday, Byron and Lanise, it was put in place to help protect renters during the pandemic, and it's been that way for more than a year. Tonight, I spoke with an advocate for renters and another advocate for landlords. Eviction cases are going back on the dockets as the October 3rd end to an eviction moratorium looms. The federal halt of landlords being able to evict their tenants was put in place to protect those renters facing financial hardship from the pandemic. New tonight, a study by Lending Tree suggests Alabama has the highest amount of renters facing evictions at 42%. Alabamans are right to be worried about evictions. Um, those cases proceed pretty quickly, and many folks are unrepresented in eviction cases. Dev Wakely is a policy analyst for Alabama Arise, a nonprofit that advocates for low-income Alabamians. When you look at the breakdowns, you do see disparate impacts on people of color and on women in terms of rental, uh, in terms of, of housing insecurity, really. And according to the Lending Tree study, 35% of blacks nationwide are at risk of eviction compared to 19% of whites. Women are 27% more likely to be evicted compared to 22% of men nationwide. John Vecchioni, a senior litigation counsel representing landlords in a suit against the CDC, says the burden has fallen on his clients for too long. And it's a tough situation, but we don't solve our problems in this country by simply taking away property rights and saying you're going to bear the whole social cost of this problem um, because you you decided to invest in this type of property. His team doesn't think the CDC has the power to create an eviction moratorium. Wakely wants to see the moratorium reinstated, but both agree that a backlog of distributing federal money for renter support is part of the problem. Alabamians might want to look into why that isn't being distributed or if all that money that was made available is being made available to them. We think the state has a major role to play in making sure that rental assistance money gets out in a much more timely manner than it has been. And if you're a renter or landlord locally, you can check in with the Mobile and Baldwin County Commission on how to apply for rental assistance programs.